How can you justify, along with the rest of the Republican Party, hurting unemployed Americans who are looking for work every day? Your speaking points are dead wrong. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, well, correct. Uh, when I was elected uh, last uh, November and was sworn in on January 5th, sworn out at it January 6th, our unemployment rate was the fifth highest in the nation, 9.4%. I had to take some immediate action to reduce unemployment, and that action resulted in the largest drop in unemployment in the country, in North Carolina. We're now below 7%, 6.9%, the largest drop in unemployment. Now, if you consider that to be a disaster, well, hold on a we, do, we do disagree. I've, I've, I've looked behind these talking points of yours. We talked about talking points. And it turns, <laughs> oh, just facts. Just facts. <laughs> well, and, it, and it turns out. We were the fifth highest unemployment well, rate in the and, country. We're and, not even in the top 30 anymore. And what's interesting about your numbers, though, is that the reason for that is not because so many people got jobs, but a lot of people quit looking. A lot of people don't understand when you're on unemployment, you're getting paid to look for a job. And when you get to that uh, rug taken out from under you, people quit. Isn't it true that in fact you have a, the biggest contraction in your labor force in your state's history? Because of your policy. No, actually, our contraction is at the same rate as the rest of the nation. In fact, slightly below the rest of the rate in the nation. And you've got to look at the baby boomers. But the fact of the matter is, in the next month or two, we're going to have the first net increase in jobs in North Carolina in the past five years. I consider those very successful policies. This is a governor who is willing to make very tough decisions in unemployment. But we also had to pay back two points. $5 billion of debt that we owe the federal government. And one decision I had to make, a very tough decision. These are not easy decisions by Republican or Democratic governors. We had to cut off the credit card that we owe yeah. to the federal government and start paying down the debt at the state level. And but we think that's going to create jobs. What we did was we lowered taxes for everyone. Every working person in North Carolina, we lowered the income tax in North Carolina. And I had to compete. Sales let me, tax? Let me tell sales you, tax? sales tax for like movie which, which, hits, which hits ordinary people pretty hard, right? First of all, we reduced, it was the Democratic legislature that raised the sales tax before I came in and the Democratic governor before I, but, but the point is, very similar to this, what I had to do was make our state more competitive for business. When you're fifth highest unemployment rate in the country, you don't want to keep, you do not want to keep the same tax system in which South Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia, your neighbors are beating you for jobs. I want to create jobs just think, like uh, Governor Nixon, I, I think, and it's worked.